WFNN. Headline News Update. Everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 4 o'clock closing price on this Monday, the 11th of uh, April. We're looking at the Dow down 412 to 34,309. Uh, it made that peak, Dean, the fourth, the fourth uh, highest peak in the Chapway methodology at 35,372. Pullback hasn't taken out Thursday's low yet, but look at the S&P. It certainly did. And the S&P is right on the 200 period exponential moving average, making this a really important moment. Uh, the technicals are starting to deteriorate. Also made that peak D. We're looking at any move below 43.92 would say, nah, it's going to give back even more. We're looking at the QQQ, one, two, three. We're looking at the Qs down 8.24, down 2.36%. That's the biggest percentage move at 340.91. It is looking very, very poor in both the daily and the weekly chart. So far, the monthly chart is holding okay. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, also acting poorly down $1.36 at 196, got repelled at the 200 period moving average at that fourth highest peak, peak D. You're looking at gold at this particular point. Gold is holding pretty nicely. It's up 12 at 1957. It seems to. It, it, if this MACD can cross positive, you're going to see gold quickly move into the uh, 1986, uh, 1992 area. If it does that, that's a very good move. And if you're looking at the crude oil, crude oil, in fact, is testing the left side low of the about the 14th or so of March. It is at 94.87 on the continuous contract, down 339. This is really a critical moment, both in the daily and the weekly chart. And that monthly chart has made a, a leg E. We're going to see if it this, we're going to see if crude oil is available so that it drops the price because of competition. We're looking also at the TLT, and we discussed that in the show just a little earlier when I was the guest host of Tom's um, Tom O'Brien show. And uh, we're looking at 123.14 going out of the down channel. It has just three days to get back in to move above 125.80, 120, 126.33. Somewhere in that area, it needs to get there. Otherwise, this is really poor because that TBT, the inverse, is breaking out in the weekly chart. I discussed that. And it's in leg C in the monthly chart. Yields are going high. That's the way it is. Short term, we're going to see if there's a bit of a pullback. And the volatility index, uh, um, trading right now at uh, 24.34 at the high of the day in the 24s. That's pretty high. If it touches 25.80 tomorrow, the market continue down. There's going to be a really um, have a wonderful evening, and we'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, stay tuned. Don't forget, Tommy Jr. starts us off.